Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will learn how to edit PDF files and return them using assignments in Microsoft Teams. So the first thing which you have to do is you have to open the respective team in which you have shared the assignments. I will open the team and then click on assignments. There you will see all the assignments which you have assigned and all the assignments which you have returned. Then open the assignment which you want to correct. I will open the demo test. Okay. So, so I have shared one demo test with one demo student Sarabji. Okay, I want to correct his sheet. He returned his file as a PDF. Now I want to correct his PDF. Okay, so what I will do is the first thing I have to open Microsoft Edge. In the Microsoft Edge, I will open portal.office.com. It's P-O-R-T-A-L dot office dot com. I will click enter. And after that you will see all this option my interest is in SharePoint I will click on SharePoint and there I will see all my teams here recent teams if you want to see all your teams click on see all and you will see all your teams so I have shared assignment in 9th B group so I will click on 9th B okay so there I am interested in on the left hand side I am interested in site contents click on site contents and you will see student work there okay so now click on student work and my interest is in the submitted file so I will click on submitted file there I will see the name of all my students but I want to correct the sheet of Sarabjit so I will click on Sarabjit the name of the assignment which I have shared is demo test. So I'll click on demo test. The version of the test uh, will be there. Okay. So there I will see the sheet of the student. So my now what I will do is I will download this sheet. I will select this file and I will click on download. Okay. So then it will say what do you want to do with demo paper. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to open this paper. Okay, when you click on open this paper, this paper will automatically get opened in the Microsoft Edge tab. Okay, so then uh, as you see, I have basically tried to correct some questions. So what you have to do is let's explore the options here. So first option is in case you want to zoom out. This option is in case you want to zoom in. Okay, this is in case some student they have submitted the files, but the orientation is not proper and you want to rotate it. Okay, so you can rotate it according to your own need. The next option is draw. So in this option, you will see different colors. Depending upon your choice, uh, whatever pen you want to use for correction, you can choose a color. I will choose red because I want to use red as a color of, uh, for my correction. The next is thickness of the pen. Okay, so if you want a very thick pen, okay, so you can increase the thickness. And if you want to decrease the thickness, you can do that by just adjusting the setting here. Okay, so I will keep it this much. So let's see how we will use that for uh, correction. For example, I want to correct 14. The 14 option is correct. 15 is correct. 16 is correct. And 17, 18, 19, 19th, the, all these options are correct. And uh, here I, I have... I want to say something or this op this is not right okay so I can highlight it in case you want to give some question mark depending upon uh, what you want to say you can write it or whatever annotation you want to give you can give it okay so in case you want to erase something in between so what you can do is you can click on this eraser and then you can erase that okay so like this you can correct the entire paper let's correct the entire paper just give the annotations like this only okay you can even give the marks if you want and at the end if you want your signature you can make your signature as well and the next part is in case you want to take the printout of this you can take the printout but my interest is in saving this file so I will click on save Okay, it will ask me uh, where you want to save. I want to save that in downloads. 
make sure please do not rename this paper keep the name as it is and then save okay the paper is saved so the next thing which you have to do is i will go back here and i will click on upload i want to replace this paper with the paper which i have corrected okay for that what i want to do is first uncheck this you will get this option upload click on upload click on the files okay here you will get your demo paper open okay it will get uh, it will upload now and you will see this uh, notification will come a file with this name already exist would you like to add this new file as a latest version of the existing file yes you want to add that click on add file okay so now that file is available so now if you see i will go back to the teams again and i want to see whether that paper is there or not okay let's go back to the team i will click on the name of the student and uh, i will click on demo paper let's see whether all my annotations are here or not you will see all my annotations are there along with my signature okay so now in case you want you have corrected all your papers and you want to return that to student just what you need to do is after completing your correction after uploading the files just select the name of the student and click on return okay so this is how you can easily correct pdf files and return the same to the students in the team itself thank you everyone